And welcome back to our premiere edition of This is the USHL. Bernie Corbett, Paul McNamara, glad you could join us. And we are very pleased to be joined as our first player profile segment. Scott Mayfield, young defenseman, the Youngstown Phantoms, and uh, one of the USHL players that will be privileged to go on to play in the World Junior A Challenge over the next couple of weeks. Scott, welcome to This is the USHL. Youngstown Phantoms. Yeah, I'm here. Hey, Scott, Scott, how you doing? I came out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome we, to this. Is they the just USHL. they just beamed us down. <laughs> yeah, that was, it's like getting that second four checker to contend with when you're trying to get the puck out of the zone. Uh, Scott, uh, a great uh, beginning uh, for you this season. You know, following up your second season in the USHL, and uh, an opportunity to play uh, for the uh, Youngstown uh, program last year. Uh, 22 points, 145 penalty minutes. Not not afraid to uh, stick your nose in there uh, once in a while. Obviously, a little bit of a feisty reputation at 6'4", 200 pounds, and uh, recently uh, committed to Denver, uh, just turning 18, and now an opportunity to uh, play for the USHL squad. Essentially, it'll be an entirely a USHL squad in the World Junior Challenge, and uh, that should be a great challenge for you and uh, the rest of the team as uh, you come together under Coach P.K. P. O'Hanley. Uh, yeah, I'm really excited. I uh, I played for uh, USA back two summers ago in the Ivan Olinka, and to wear that jersey is just a huge honor. Uh, you wear it with respect, and I'm really excited to get another chance to wear it again. Talking to Scott Mayfield from the Youngstown Phantoms. Uh, Scott, let's talk a little bit about your team this year. A little bit slow out of the gate, a game under 500, but um, it, it, it seems like a lot of your games are low-scoring games, and that's got to play into your hand where uh, the coach and, and the team is depending a lot on the defenseman to to keep the team in it. Uh, yeah, as of right now, we're, uh, we're kind of in a little slump. We started out as 3-0, though. We came out big, mm-hmm. uh, had two home openers in uh, Lincoln and Des Moines and played real good in those two. But, uh, yeah, we're not we're not a big-scoring team as of right now. We uh, All of our wins have only been within a goal, too. So, uh Defensively, we're uh, we're pretty strong defensively. I feel like our decor uh, is, is holding our holding our end in the back. Uh, our goaltending is great this year. I think uh, Matt O'Connor. It's his first year. He uh, he really stepped up in our first ten games. But uh, we're in a little bit of slump. But I'm not worried that much. Our coaching staff is doing a lot to help us out of it. And I'm excited about this weekend for our team. I know I won't get to go because I'm in. Uh, I leave for Penticton tomorrow. But uh, I, I really think we'll get out of this slump and be, be a top team this year. You mentioned about uh, how exciting it is to put on the USA jersey as you will have the opportunity in the World uh, Junior Challenge. And uh, you apparently have had a Denver Pioneers jersey hanging in your room since uh, you probably first put on a pair of skates. Uh, your dad having gone to the University of Denver, and you're going to have the opportunity really to uh, fulfill a dream becoming a Denver Pioneer under Coach uh, George Gwazdecki down the road. Yeah, I, uh, you know, we've taken family vacations to uh, Denver ever since I was little, and we always went to the ice rink and went to the campus and stuff, and I just, I've i loved it since I was eight years old. And I think it was Christmas when I was eight or nine, I'm not positive, but uh, I got a Denver jersey, and that's been hanging above my bed. I hung it up right away, so uh, it's really something special to be able to play there. Uh, they're a winning team right now, and I'm really excited because I really like the way they're, they're coached and everything. Uh, my brother also goes to the Air Force Academy, which is only about an hour away. So uh, I'm really excited to go to Denver. So in this age of early commits, you you became a pioneer at eight or nine years old. <laughs> <laughs> this, yeah, I, it was this, always my number one choice. This so. is getting yeah. a, getting a little out of hand. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 very early. Yeah, some of the coaches around college hockey said, uh, Scott, pretty soon they'll just be visiting the maternity ward. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're just going to go pick up some babies now. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, you're no baby at 6'4 and 200 pounds, and obviously uh, that's the type of size that attracts a great deal of uh, pro attention. And uh, Tell us a little bit about what it was like to uh, participate in the uh, the NHL uh, Research Development and Orientation Camp this past summer. Oh, that was really something. I uh, I was just real grateful I was even asked to go. When I got an email with NHL logos all over it, I, I was pretty ecstatic about that. Um, to be put out there with some of the best, I mean, those are the best kids in my age group come up for the draft and everything. And it was really something to see how I competed and stuff. Uh, it was, it was a lot, it was the fast hockey I've ever played for sure. Um, 
but the new rules are pretty cool to see everything. And uh, the facility we were at, the uh, Maple Leafs Practice Center, was just real nice. So uh, that was really something to be a part of that. Well, Scott Mayfield, the uh, Youngstown Phantoms, uh, continued success uh, this year. And as you move on to Denver and certainly in any international competition you get to play in, including in, Pint- uh, in Penticton over the next couple of weeks. Thank you. I'm really excited. Thanks a lot for taking the time to be with us, Scott. Hopefully we'll uh, get a chance to talk to you la- down the road uh, later on in the season. Yeah, definitely. Thank you, guys. Scott Mayfield, Youngstown Phantoms defenseman, in his second year in the USHL. Our player profile on This Is the USHL.